so I'm here talking about my new book. It's a collection of stories called A Day in the Life. Um, this is my second book of stories. I published uh, an earlier collection called Difficult Pleasures that appeared in 2012. Um, A Day in the Life, as the title suggests, uh, is stories about individuals, uh, stories about uh, people on a particular kind of quest, not a heroic quest certainly, a very everyday quest. Um, and they are trying to find something, either themselves or uh, in one case, I have a story about a woman, uh, a young woman walking around in Bangalore. She's looking for her husband. Her husband is lost. Uh, he's untraceable. So she's um, trying to negotiate the city in a way that she's never done before because she's never needed to. And she is quite poor. She's illiterate. Uh, she doesn't really know the ways of the city very well. So I thought that would be an interesting perspective through which to explore a city like Bangalore. A very different experience from mine, obviously. Um, another story is about an old man, older man. He's retired and he lives alone. Uh, he's a widower. And in that story, I try to explore a ri the rising sort of violent crime in Bangalore. And often this is crime that is meaningless in the sense, not that any crime is meaningful, but this seems completely random, uh, isolated instances of people just getting angry with each other uh, and attacking each other. So I used uh, newspaper reports over a period of about two months from uh, February and March 2016. And it, it wasn't that I was aiming to write a story about that, but I just felt that there were so many instances of random violence, neighbors attacking each other, friends, uh, over very small things, very minor petty things, suddenly becoming uh, angry. So the story is called I Am Very Angry. And it's about this man uh, who has no relationship to this anger, but he's trying to come to terms with what is happening to his city. So yes, it is in some ways a, a, a book of stories about Bangalore. I think at least half the stories are about this city. Um, there is one more story that is about a woman's relationship to her maid. Uh, and she's a very fragile character, this woman. She's often sick. And then she gets a maid who is very, very robust. And she takes over her whole life. The maid becomes like the controlling force in her life. Um, and then there's a twist at the end which sort of plays, I think, on this idea of who is the boss. Whether Is it the frail employer or, or is it the robust employee? So those are some of the stories that are in the book. And then, there, of course, I don't want to give away everything. So So I'd like to speak just a little bit about the writing process. Actually, I think writers tend to glamorize their writing process. There's not usually too much to it. You just sit at a table and write. Uh, but for me, there are two or three things that have become important over the years. One, I think, is my relationship to this city, my relationship to Bangalore and how it enters my writing. And I, I think I've become a person for whom uh, being in this city, the joy of being in Bangalore, um, and small things, neighborhood uh, encounters, the trees, the weather, the language, all of these somehow inspire me to continue writing about Bangalore. So I feel very sensually, in a sensuous way, I feel very connected to Bangalore. But I'm also, I think, starting to get curious about the lives of people who are very different from me. So that has also come into my writing and I, I'm more curious now. I think I have more conversations with people uh, than I used to. So that is one part of the writing process. The other is the fact that to write about Bangalore, I have to get away from Bangalore often. So I spend part of my writing time in a, a small town called Madikiri uh, in the Kurg district. Uh, and it's about six hours away from Bangalore. So for me, it's become like this um, pattern now that I live in Bangalore, but I write in Madikeri. So it's like this contrast between living and writing. Madikeri, uh, I, I have not written about very much. I have written a little about it. But for me, it's really a place where you retreat from the city uh, and that distance where you process everything that has happened uh, and then you write. So Bangalore, life, uh, writing, Madikeri. These, I think, are the things that 
have gone into this book. Thank you. Thank you.